So the AV facility consists of currently two AV assets. We have the small Teledyne Gavia AUV, which has been here for a number of years. It's a small, low logistics AUV. And more recently, we now have the ISC Explorer AUV, which is a large, what we call a polar class AUV, and that is designed basically from the bottom up to do under ice Antarctic science. This is a, an autonomous underwater vehicle built by a company called International Submarine Engineering. It's an AUV dedicated to deep water, long endurance survey work. So the vehicle itself can dive to 5,000 meters, can operate for about a 24 hour endurance, which covers probably 150 kilometers. Unique to it for Antarctic work is that the sensors in it can be mounted facing downward for conventional seabed work, but can also be mounted upwards so that if you're underneath the ice, you can actually now make maps of the ice bottom and what the bottom of the ice might look like. There's a large research base for this, so we have scientists um, who are interested in deep water exploration, under ice exploration, looking at how the ocean and seabed interact or how the ocean and the ice interact with each other. AMC, I guess, has always been kind of known for its facilities, and so this is one kind of new feather in its cap. And in terms of Australia, it's quite a significant achievement to have 